Hello everyone. Today we are going to do the problem number 26, remove duplicates from sorted array. This was given by Apple, a coding interview, and I am going to try to come up with a solution to it. So I don't want to go through all of the reading part since it's kind of a lot and the internet doesn't work that way. So I'm just going to show you a couple of examples that what what is expected from us to do. Let's say that we have one, one and two. So I'm gonna do two examples actually. I'm gonna place the second one down here. I'm gonna do it like this, okay? And I'm expected to remove the duplicate and return an integer saying how much of this array am I going to look into? So for example, in this one, I'm going to return one, two, and then I can have some gibberish here, and I'm gonna return the two, number two. Meaning that look at the first two elements, that's it, don't do anything else. The same thing I'm going to do in here, so this one is going to end up being zero, one, two, and three, and then we can have some gibberish here, and you guessed it, I'm going to return the four, since I want you to look, I want the server to be looking at the first four numbers. These four numbers are expected to have no duplicates and are expected to be sorted. All right, so let's go into paint. All right, good. Now, hopefully you're seeing that well because uh, I did it in a different way, it doesn't matter. Let's go with the example that I had, zero, zero, and I'm gonna add one more zero, then I'm gonna add three ones, and I'm gonna add two, three, and that's gonna be it. So the solution to this is, if you're taking two pointers, you're going to first point at the start element, and the second pointer is going to point one element further, meaning that I'm gonna be pointing here. So the whole idea of getting duplicates is that these numbers, and the next one should be unique, meaning that while these numbers are not unique, I can iterate the second pointer as far as I need until I actually find a unique number. And now the solution gets pretty simple. If you find a unique one, I know that the range, so I know that the range from here to here, right, they are no uniques, so these are duplicates, duplic, right? meaning that I have the full availability to drop all of them because I don't need them, but I need only one. So I'm just going to increment the first pointer to this position and then I'm going to swap these so I can have zero, one, and then I can have zero, one, 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 one. It doesn't really matter. I have the second pointer pointing at one currently and this pointer is going to point at one. And until these two are going to be unique, then I'm going to increment the second point. I'm going to go from here to here to here to two. And now I'm going to increment the first pointer with one. And I know, once again, keep in mind that all of these numbers are duplicates. They're irrelevant. And now I have the full av availability to, to swap these. So I'm going to have zero, one, two, and I'm going to be pointing at two and then I'm gonna have some gibberish here that I don't care about, and I'm gonna have three. I'm gonna move this pointer to the gibberish that I don't care about, this one here, and I can see that these two numbers are going to be different, so then I'm gonna swap them, and as soon as I end, I'm just going to return how much of a set, how big of a set did I actually create for me to look into. So that's pretty much the problem. Let's go back to lead code and see how we're gonna implement it in code. All right, so we're back here in lead code, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to check if nums length is equal to zero, and I'm gonna return zero because obviously I'm not gonna be creating any sets, and therefore I don't expect anything to be looked into. So I'm just going to implement the algorithm that we have been talking about. The first thing that I want to do is create a starting index, index. so I'm gonna say starting index will be equals to zero, and then I need this iteration that I was talking about. So I'm just gonna go with a for loop. Second index is gonna be equal to starting index plus one. And that's actually not good, it's, it needs to be one. 
Uh, it's not good because I'm going to increment the starting index here and I don't want to... It doesn't really matter actually because it's going to be 0 plus 1 which is going to be 1. So shouldn't be a problem. Uh, then I'm going to go with second index less than numbers of length and then I'm going to say second index plus plus. Alright, good. So now I need to find when they are not duplicates. So I'll, this is easy. Nums of starting index is not equal to nums of second. All right? Now we have found unique numbers. The first thing that I want to do, keep in mind the range between starting index and second index is going to be of duplicate values. The best scenario is that we're not going to have anything, any duplicates meaning that I need, again, to increment the index, right? And after I increment the index, I'm just going to say num of starting index is going to be equal to nums of second index. I'm not really changing that. I'm not swapping them. I don't need to because I know that this range after that, they're going to be duplicates, so I'm never going to worry about what do I have here. All right, and that's pretty much it, actually. The algorithm is here, and I didn't play starting index because... I just uh, don't need to. All I need is the first time to go one beyond the starting index. Since I'm going to increment it here, it's going to be a bit problematic. And uh, now the final thing that I need to return is the range. Now, it is very important for me to estimate the range because if I have 0, 1, 2, 3, and I have uh, a lot of 7s here, I don't want to return 5, 6, or all of the array because it's going to be problematic. All I want to return is 0, 1, 2, 3. So in order for me to do that, I already have the starting index that's going to be pointing to the last element that I have replaced. So I just need to return one element further. And I'm going to say return starting index plus 1. And that's pretty much it. So let's run the code and see if this is going to work. Seems to be okay, shouldn't break anything. All right, let's use example test cases. And if it happens, okay. And if it uh, accepts it, then I'm just going to push it to the server. Hopefully it goes with everyone. All right, good. Let's submit and see if it's going to work. All right, there it is. So the final thing we need to talk about is what kind of a space complexity are we actually having? So space complexity is going to be big O of constant, right? I, am I using something? I'm using the same array that's passed here. So I don't allocate any space for something else. And the time complexity is going to be big O of n since I'm incrementing through the whole array. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So quite an easy problem very interesting and has a very unique idea. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments. Bye.